Another busy day at the Whale Arts Centre in Edinburgh's Wester Hales area. Like people closely involved in communities across the country, those here are often the first to see gaps in services or a need for improvement. And when that's the case, the ability of public bodies to listen to them is critical. We're aware of the opportunities, aspirations and needs that are experienced by local people. Um, one of our functions is to try and articulate those to public bodies and if I'm honest it's, it's a varied experience. Sometimes um, it doesn't work as effectively as it might but when it does work well and when the community's views are respected as those of an equal partner by the public body um, then the impact can be really positive. The very nature of this sort of engagement is being looked at by the Scottish Parliament and it could give ordinary people who've ideas about improving public services the right to make authorities sit up and take notice. At the moment, public bodies can ignore people who approach them with an idea. But the Community Empowerment Bill would make it compulsory for them to listen. And now one of the Parliament's committees is looking at how to make that process work best. It's about participation, and that is the key to all of this. We want as many folks uh, involved in helping shape the services uh, that are delivered so that they have their say, uh, they can uh, ask for improvement, uh, and they themselves uh, can make suggestions about how uh, things can be improved. The process set out in the bill would allow members of the public to submit their ideas through a participation request. This would have to be made by a formally constituted group. Those making the request would have to demonstrate the need for change and then how their idea would help. The public body would then decide whether or not to allow the request. If it did, it would then have to work with the group to make it happen. The committee now wants to hear what people think is the best way of making it effective and inclusive. And the feedback it gets will shape what it recommends to the Parliament. It's extremely important for the committee to hear the public's views and I would urge folks out there to have their say by contacting the committee so that we can hear your views. So do you think the bill as it stands is the best way of getting people's ideas in front of the decision makers? Would you use this new right? If not, why not? What would stop you? Would you find it easier to be involved as a group or an individual? What help do you need to become involved and put your ideas and experience forward? To give your views, you can email or leave a comment on the Scottish Parliament's Facebook page. You can also write to us or telephone or text us.